Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Uh, today we're going to go through how to wire up a an outlet with a dusk to dawn uh, sensor so that we can control uh, the items that are plugged into this outlet will be controlled by the, the sun, essentially. Uh, when it gets dark, they'll come on. When it gets dark, they'll come on. When it gets light, they'll turn off. Uh, this is specifically going to be for a light for our chicken coop. Um, I'm going to try having a light run and give them some more light during these shorter days, hoping that we can squeeze a few more eggs out of them during these colder months. So stick around, we'll get this done, and uh, then we'll put it to use, and we'll make a video for that too. So these are all the items we're going to need for this project. We have a 4 inch metal box with knockouts and a ground screw. We have the cover for the box and we have the outlet for the cover. Uh, we also have this photoelectric switch that will sense when the sun goes down and when it starts to get dark the, the plug will turn on and turn the light on for our chicken coop and when the sun comes up, the, it senses the, the, the light and will turn off. So we're not burning, we're not burning our bulb during the daylight hours. Um, I had this open already and found that this was busted coming out of the package. So we're just going to make do with what we have on this and uh, we'll just make it work. I'll probably run a bolt through there so I can just tighten it down keep it secure. Uh, so, you'll need a cord. I have a bunch of stuff like this here in the raw. And uh, so this is what, uh, what we're going to use today. It is GFCI protected, so, uh, you know, safety first. Uh, but uh, before safety, free. Uh, well, yeah, we go with that here. Uh, some wire nuts, connect all the wires, some pigtails to connect all the devices, uh, hardware pieces, and there's two, two items of extra credit we're going to do today. We are going to put this bracket onto here so that there's a convenient way to mount this, um, mount this in the chicken coop. Uh, I looked for a box with a strap on it, but I couldn't find one, so uh, we're just going to make our own, which is always fun. That's why we're here. Uh, and then we're also going to take this. This is extra, extra credit. We're going to take this, modify this outlet so that... We're going to modify this outlet. We're going to uh, remove this bridge right here. Uh, that will separate the two hot feeds to the outlet. And that way we can switch one and we can have one on continuously. So we will have, uh, we'll have the water plugged in all the time. Uh, there's a thermostatic switch in the bucket for that. Uh, that will control when it's off and on. Um, so yeah, we're going to provide light on a switch that will turn the light on when the sun goes down and will provide power to a bucket that will keep the water from freezing so the chickens can always have a drink. Okay, so let's get started here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is mount this on here so that we can be done working on this and then start uh, uh, the assembly.
Okay, so these holes aren't spaced very well. Uh, I don't know who did the layout here, uh, but we're going to start over on these. Fortunately, we've got four other sides. Uh, so let's take two. Take two. We're going to put this right here. That's done. That's nice, nice and sturdy. Okay, we got that done. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this in our parts list. Uh, it's just a knockout uh, or a cable clamp, a Romex connector. Some people call them. Uh, I call it a cable clamp. It's a strain relief device. Uh, so this will keep our cord in our box, and if uh, the cord gets tugged on, it won't tug. Uh, tug on the electrical connections inside the box. So if this were house wire, I would definitely avoid that. I would definitely avoid coming in right there. Okay, so now our box is ready to start assembly. So let's put some pigtails on this. Uh, first, I'm going to remove this before I forget. And it's a pair of needle nose pliers. Grab the bridge. Flex it off. So now this terminal and this terminal are no longer connected. So we're going to feed continuous power to this and switch power to this. Here we have our outlet with pigtails, and we can use this to uh, complete our project. And I'm just going to quickly trim all these to the same size, just because it looks nice. So also, when you're using one of these covers, a metal, uh, metal cover with a metal box, the outlet doesn't fit in there, so you have to break off these ears and cut off this... Uh, the screw here that would be used for uh, putting on the cover plate, the face plate. So that all comes off, and then you need a machine screw to go th through the cover, through this hole, the mounting hole, and with a nut on the back. So let's do that next. strip some of our insulating jacket off of the extension cord. Um, so just use caution. So this can enter the box through our knockout that we have the strain relief device screwed into. And I like to strip the insulating jacket off before I put it in the box instead of trying to fumble around in the box uh, to work on it. So we put it in like that.
I'm gonna make these snug so that if you tug on the wire, it doesn't slide out. So there we go. That's that's nice and uh, relieved of strain. So I'm actually going to make a couple more pigtails. Uh, one for the ground, so we can have a, a third ground wire coming off of this screw. They'll all get put together. Uh, all the grounds, and then another hot for our contiguous hot uh, on this outlet. So I'm going to grab another one of these and make pigtails. of tape that covers the screws and this makes a li little bit more secure a little safer so this is our our outlet with pigtails in the cover so let's strip all these pigtails so we can connect everything we'll start connecting I'm gonna go ahead and label the wire that is switched with the in accordance with the the outlet that I want to be switched. Um, so I'm going to make this one switched. So I'm going to label these real quick as switched. and constant. And then also I'll label, I'll also label the switched hot. I'm just gonna put a piece of tape on that show that it's the odd one. That'll be the switched one. And I'd like to use white tape so I could write on it, but out here in the raw we don't ha always have everything we need, so we just make do. Okay, so now I will strip all of these leads. Let's see if this side's up. And I want this to come out of the right side, so it'll go here. Uh, so I will go ahead and put install that now. This conveniently comes with a uh, threaded knockout or a threaded uh, piece on it so you just run it through a knockout put the nut on and it's mounted to the box uh, but before before we do that I'm going to take a break here real quick and off camera I'm going to run some hardware through here just to keep it firmed up so I'll be right back with this part okay we're back um, so yeah, I, I just ran a screw, machine screw, and put a nut on this side, so it can flex. I can tighten it up where I, when it's in the position that I want, and it's uh, you know, it's not perfect, but it works. So I'm happy with that. So we'll run this into this side here. So this is good for now. So we can continue here. Uh, as far as putting it all together, electrical wise, uh, all of the neutrals will go together. So we can start there. So 
So next, all of the grounds can go together. And here, with the hot, we have to be careful of what which one of these leads goes to which one of the, the wires in the box and on the outlet. This is the line side of the switch. Uh, this gets connected to the power that is continuous. Uh, so this gets connected to what gets plugged into the to the outlet. You know, this what gets plugged into the wall on the house to power this box. Uh, so these will go together, and then on our outlet, we want the constant power on this one. So we put all these together. And then the switch. And this this is the load side of the switch. So this this wire will be will have no current when the switch is off, when it's daylight, and when it gets dark. This will have power, this will have voltage uh, going to the switch side of this outlet. So we'll put those together. Uh, yeah, this is the top of the box. This is the top of the outlet. So now we just need to neatly tuck everything in here. Okay, so we're here we have our box with our bracket, with our outlet that is switched at the top, constant at the bottom, and our photo control switch which will allow us to uh, uh, to operate this, this side of the outlet uh, during dark hours only. So now we're going to test it. I have here an outlet tester. Um, so we'll put it in the constant side, plug it in, and this will allow us also to test the GFCI function on the, uh, on the extension cord. Okay, yeah, there it's, uh, we got two orange and this one's not lit, so according to this, according to our, according to our chart here, we have it, uh, wired correctly. Let's push this button to test the GFCI. All right, it went out and the GFCI tripped. So we'll Press the reset on the GFCI and it comes back on. So, so we are GFCI protected here. That's good. That's good news because we're dealing with. Uh, it's going to be outside, uh, and it's also going to be uh, with water on this side. So, or I'm sorry, with water in this in this plug. So you mix water and electric. You want to take some steps to uh, protect yourself, protect your equipment. Uh, protect your chickens, and uh, if you're that concerned, you can protect your kids. So, so we'll test this side. Okay, that's on. I expected that to be off. Um, so let me grab a light to shine. Uh, well, here we'll we'll just shine this up at the light. There we go. So it's working. So mission accomplished. Uh, and that's how you wire an outlet on an extension cord uh, into a box with a photo control switch to control one half of your outlet while providing constant power to the other half. So uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, I know I learned something. Um, 
One of the things I learned is to take better time with layout on stuff like this so you don't wind up with holes like that. Uh, but yeah, this was good and uh, I'm gonna go now and uh, see what kids I can uh, talk into helping me put this into the chicken coop. So we'll see you in the chicken coop video. Please subscribe, leave a comment. I love comments and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.